Todd, you're out there, buddy? Hey, oh, we got cars going. Hey, Todd Pierce <laughs> with Basements and More and Summit Renovations. Hey, come on over here and let me show you what we're doing with these dumpsters. We're just taking a tour through the park today and uh, I want to show you some things we got going on. This is obviously one of our wrap dumpsters. This is a pop bottom, okay? So this is the, the term that we've coined and uh, this is a basement that we're literally digging the basement out to give him eight foot two ceilings. Come on in. Nice. Now we're gonna kind of run today because we've got like three other projects on this street that we want to show you. Okay, I got keys, I don't know. Come on, dude. See, we got the windows all boarded up. Pretty. <laughs> Big pile of dirt, conveyor. Let's get a lot more back here. All right, dude. So we're gonna uh, take off this uh, deck here. And did I tell you we're gonna use it for far, part of the framing in the basement? Are you kidding me? Well, that's what Eric wants to do. Uh, I love that. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, geez, come on now. Hey, watch your step, okay? Oh, geez, here we go. This is a typical wash park back door. Come on in. All right. Hello. Oh. Oh, 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 hey. Jeez. Yeah, this step kind of dropped off here. No Come lights, on. huh? Come on down. Holy moly. I got lights down here. You got lights? Oh yeah, we got plenty of light. Yeah, it's the bad cave. Oh jeez. Ow. Ow. Hey, we're not going to stay down here for long, but I want to show you again. Look how high these ceilings are. I these were six it. foot five ceilings. Now we've got eight foot two. We've dug this whole basement out. He's got a new foundation wall with footings all the way around the perimeter. Okay, we're gonna keep his old steam heat and uh, hot water heater is still going. He's still living here. He hasn't had to move out. There's absolutely no dust upstairs. And uh, we start putting in our underground drain next week. Nice. It's, it's pretty exciting, but hey, nice. sorry to keep, we gotta go. I'm gonna turn off the lights. <laughs> we gotta go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Here you go, bye bye in the drains. They're going next week. There you go, bye bye. Yep, we're done. Oh, what's that right there? Uh, that'd be new concrete. Don't be stepping in it. No, that's no one. There you go. Don't Whoa. Be that, Lights off, baby. Look at this old step. This is where we used to be, right? <laughs> Let's go. Boom, boom. Ready? Here we go. What a great solution for Watch Park. Adding 900 square feet for just over $100,000. Holy cow, are you talking about value or what? I love it. Come on. We're gonna end up re-scraping, re-landscaping this whole area. Put a little swell in, uh, French drain on the outside, and uh, get rid of all this moisture. Nice, nice. How many dump trucks have we gotten out of here? Oh geez, come on. Six, maybe seven. Six, seven. Yeah, we got a lot of work still to do. We got to uh, fix the sidewalks, tear them out, re-pour them, get them to point in the right direction. Holy moly. All right, you got that? I can lock this thing up. Oh, jeez. Get the good? expert. All right. All right. All right, Dave, I'll take this. You're going to drive us, right? I am, I am. Okay, right? yeah. Let's go. This is a typical day in the life, isn't it? I love it. Huh? I love it. Isn't this kind of what we do for a living? This is what we do for a living. All right. Car needs to go forward, though. You started first. <laughs> There we go. All right. So, where are we going? We're going to just go around the block and we'll go up Gaylord. So, the whole idea here is to kind of show you what's happening in Wash Park. You know, we've got a lot of old bungalows, typically running about 1,000 to 1,500 square feet, and uh, a lot of them need renovating. Why? Because you got these houses going up. A big dog. That's a big dog right there. Houses in the Washpock area are going for about $350 a square foot. And uh, part of the attraction is because of this wonderful street right here called Gaylord. All the shops on the Gaylord. You've got Washpark Grill, you've got uh, R&D Wine, you've got Max Grill. And of course, there's lots and lots of activity. Fun place to live. Spas, artworks, art studios, studios sports plus. Devil's food. It's just a very design. And the park, of course, is uh, is just about ten blocks to the west of us. Nice. 
But this is a, we'll just keep going straight. This is a typical day. We hit, uh, we got about eight projects going in the park. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of, uh, this is what, this is new construction here. Somebody scraped off. And uh, my guess is that house will be sold for about six. One six. You know, they're selling these lots for between 400 and uh, Four hundred, five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and that's for a lot that you're going to actually scrape. <laughs> then you got to put a house there. You got to build it. You got to hire a, you know, a builder. You got to pay your real estate commissions. And uh, dude, it's expensive. Six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars. It gets expensive. And uh, you know, so what's the, what's the pop bottom costing? Oh my gosh, less than two hundred. Less than two hundred a square. things. Keep the water out, do this, do that. Here's another job of ours, dude. So here's uh, 802 South York, another another project, another pop bottom. Uh, and you can see it's nothing. It's a it's a house that's probably worth about $600,000. And uh, she's going to put about seventy five dollars into it uh, to get a very basic basement. But uh, still in all, she's adding 800 square feet. It's going to be a super deal. Projects are and how much work we do have going in the park and uh, how much other construction is going on. This is crazy, dude. Now this next house we're gonna show you, Dave, talk a little bit about that. Wow. We spent the better part, part of six months uh, renovating all levels of the house, also fixing stucco on the outside, giving it a facelift, uh, totally taking it from a very nice uh, traditional, more or less, uh, flavor of decorating to very much, I don't know, dude, what do you call that? Modern oh, something? Contemporary. Contemporary? Yeah, very modern contemporary. It's all awesome. The, uh, Sub-Zero appliances, we got new cabinetry, new countertops, floating shelves, new fireplaces, new rock. Dude, it's just crazy. So we're just getting finished with this thing. Our dumps are just left today. Uh... And the homeowners are meeting with us here in the next 15, 20 minutes, and we're going to uh, go through our final punch with them. Hey, Dave, let me give this back to you. You bet. So here we are. It's amazing that uh, put together the uh, lawn. It's back in good shape. It's been clean, landscaped. Don't forget this house was completely restuccoed. Restuccoed the face so it looks beautiful again. Gutters back on. We fixed the deck outside so it wouldn't leak in the house. Did some work on the outside. Upgraded the uh, gas service so it's got new appliances. It's got a great entranceway. We got a new front door still coming, but uh, it's all good, dude. So are you stuck on the uh, locks again? There you go. Sorry about that. No worries. So this is a this is a totally gutted, remodeled house by Summit Renovations. Uh, I mean, we just totally reconfigured the floor plan. Mainly, I want you to see this picture. Now you'll see some stuff on our website that highlights this house in whole. But what we wanted to do today was show you kind of a day in the life of Summit Renovations and basements and more. Uh, you get to see a lot of our work from a dungeon basement six blocks away. We passed another one of our projects, and here we are in a $500,000 remodel. Absolutely. And I'm out of breath. We're going to run it so fast. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for, thanks for paying attention, uh, and we hope to see you around the block.